Okay, now it's recording. Okay, uh, welcome to the pre-ITF IoT directory meeting. So please uh, take in consideration that this meeting is under the note well. Our agenda, we are going to go through an overview of the ITF and IRTF working groups, and then about the new plan activities, and then we are going to give a follow-up uh, about our, the IIC meetings. Okay, uh, please uh, add your name as in the attendees list. So there is something, someone from 60s, Pascal, do you want to, well, all the documents are RFC. Uh, Hello. Uh, 60s is on hold, and so there is nothing much to say about it. Okay. Um, the only thing is it's highly related to the work which is happening at row, because 60s initially uh, cared for both um, uh, deterministic and non-deterministic flows, but in fact, it only really works on non-deterministic flows over a deterministic Mac. And Ro is looking at making uh, now the, the, the flows, uh, the deterministic flows as well, and can apply to 6 and other uh, Mac layers. So there is a, a strong relationship, but 6 itself uh, has no work on its plate. Okay, thank you very much. A uh, question, comments? Okay, thank you. Six low, Charles, Zeta. Hello. Um, Hello. So <clears throat> in six low, since the last idea, we have the new RFC 9159 uh, on IPv6 mesh over BLE. We have four working group documents, two of them evaluated by the ISG. Uh, one is IPv6 over PLC, which is progressing well, and IPv6 over NFC, which is, has been stuck uh, at this point uh, for some time now. Then uh, we have the use cases draft in AD evaluation and the other working group document is uh, recently adopted. Uh, it's the IPv6 ND multicast address listener registration. Then in, in ITF 113, we also plan to, to discuss uh, individual documents. Two of them focus on or include header compression functionality. One is based on use of chic header compression for 15.4 networks. Chic is the main product of the LP1 working group. And the other one is the native short address proposal, which also includes some stateless forwarding mechanism. And then there are other individual documents or ideas for presentation in the area of neighbor discovery. One is IPv6 neighbor discovery unicast lookup. Another one which is related is about the possible use of 6 and ND outside of IoT domains is a draft by Pascal for the BES uh, working group and another presentation on prefix registration. Okay, great. Thank you very much. Comment and questions? Okay, I will just jump uh, to Nancy with the rats and tip because she has to leave early. Uh, Nancy, please, could you give us an update on rats and tip? Please. I appreciate that, uh, Ines. Yeah, so TEEP is progressing well. We're down to completing the protocol. Um, and I saw, um, sorry, I saw Dave Thaler do a lot of check-ins that I need to uh, verify and, and uh, get uh, an ocean from him as to how complete and mature the draft is to progress. Um, so I think that one is going well. And RATS, um, we have now pushed the architecture draft to request for publication. Um, the Chara should be in the AD IESG for vote um, for publication as well. Um, the network profiling one should already be done as well. Um, and then there's still a bunch of other drafts that um, we're, we're, we're focusing on, I'm, we're trying as the chairs, we're trying to get the entity at the station token work bound and scoped so that we can mature it and get it to publication and move on to, to the rest of the work because there is interest um, amongst the members there to also recharter and broaden mm -hmm. the scope um, there. So, we will be discussing those. It looks like um, there's strong consensus to get the rechartering done. There's still some sticking points that one or two of the members have raised. We want to discuss discuss those and close loop. 
and that's rats. Okay, great. Excellent. Thank you very much, Nancy. Comment and questions? Okay, thank you. Ace, Daniela Loganenden? Loganenden, sorry. Okay, not in the call. Anima, Sheng or Turles? Okay, uh, there is something writing here, so thank you. I, Steve, oh, Michael? Uh, maybe a quick uh, comment on, on ACE, the ACE uh, authorization information format is on the telechat tomorrow. Okay, so great. That, that's one point of progress. Okay, great. Excellent. Thank you very much, Karsten. Uh, Anima, Sheng, and Turles? Okay. Uh, SDF? Michael, Niklas? Michael, you are in the call. Okay, there are some chat. Uh, okay. Uh, Michael, you're muted in case you're talking. Okay, maybe we come back to that yeah. in a moment. Uh, okay, thank you. Sibor, Barry, Christian Amus. No. Okay. Core. There is some someone has an update on Sibor. Yes, okay. uh, I yes. can report that uh ooh, something strange happened with my WebEx here. Sorry. Um I can report that we uh, are ha have just submitted file magic. Um so we, we are down to uh, one working group document at the moment, which is CBOR packed. And uh, we think this is going to be pretty, pretty important uh, when it comes out. Uh, and uh, we are also working on CDDL 2.0 and uh, on uh, various uh, tag proposals that, that might serve as common data structures for, for many uh, future specifications. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Karsten. Core? Karsten. Yes. Uh, Karsten, sorry, I, I missed it. What was the draft that was just submitted? Uh, file magic. That's a, um, file magic. a nice. way to, to record a magic number with a stored CBA data item. So it, it's like CNML CT just for files and not for CNML data items. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank you very much. Uh, Corey, Cor, Jaime, Marco, Hi all. This is Marco. Yeah. Hi all. Um, we have recently published RSC in 9175 and used to be echo request tags, so proposing the two namesake options and defining a more secure way to use the token value in co-op messages. And we have three documents in out 48, actually one in out 48 done. Uh, and two of those were blocked for a while by the now published uh, 9175. Uh, two more documents are in ISG evaluation from the core comp cluster. And for one of those, all the discuss ballots were cleared. Uh, we have more working group documents, of which two are approaching um, working group last call, and one is after that now, so is expected to progress uh, soon. But of course, we have even more activities, uh, including uh, yet developing the application language Coral, uh, some more items on group communication and, and related to OSCOR, uh, as uh, more recent proposals also, transport indication for co-op, a uh, new option for measuring co-op performance, and an informational document um, still for a few days in call for adoption about um, attacks on against uh, co-op. And that was a result on uh, a consensus call about uh, focusing on attacks on co-op in core and the document, leaving more for, for the research side, the attacks using uh, co-op instead, which is going to happen in TTTRG. And yeah, we'll meet in Vienna, uh, one session of two hours on Friday. I'll be there um, in presence and we plan to resume interim meetings end of April. That's okay. it. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very much, Marco. Okay. Comment and questions? Okay, great. Kose, Matt, Ivan? Um, well, sorry, one, one quick question. Uh, Marco, you, you mentioned there's um, 
two approaching last call, and I, I noticed in the notes there's three, saying three approaching last call. Well, you're right. That's a typo. Thank you. Oh, okay. Sorry. Now fixed. Thank you. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Uh, Kose, Matt, Ivailo. Okay. Someone has some update on Kose? Um, this is not a real update, but um, we are we are discussing work that is a, a variant that is it's another another work um, item about supply chain integrity, transparency, and trust, and and that work is is using Cozy a lot, like like a lot. It's all based on that, and and even the Mercatrice are based basically on Cozy items, and so um, so what we what we have here is a uh, a variant of countersigning. We call a receipt, and probably that might be interesting to Cozy. That's just an FYI. Um, so that's an external, not not share input here uh, from the IoT here, and and we will we will we will focus. We will present that on Sec Dispatch, I guess. So that Sec Dispatch might come up with, hey, Cozy, uh, have a look at this. So that would not be surprising, um, in some extent. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Hank. Uh, comments, welcome. Uh, comments. Okay, thank you. Detnet, Low, or Janos? Uh, I think Janos is in the IEEE meeting going on right oh. now. So, uh, uh, so we have uh, a couple of documents that are with the IESG. One on uh, a Yang model, which is uh, uh, a pretty foundational document for management of Detnet nodes. Uh, the next is bounded latency, which is an informational document talking about how to provide uh, uh, bounded latency and, and implementations. That's just informational. Um, the the reason I mention that, call that out as informational, is we are in the process of um, expanding our charter to allow definitions of uh, traffic treatment for queuing mechanisms. We've had a lot of discussions with the with our AD as well as uh, with the int area of whether or not um, uh, DetNet is the right place to do that work. Uh, I think the uh, uh, David Black, who's the chair in the Ontario, thought it was De DetNet was the right place. Uh, we at DetNet said we prefer him, but uh, we're going to end up doing it in DetNet. Uh, so that's going on. Uh, in addition to that change, we do have um, some discussions and work going on for OAM. We're in pretty good shape for our MPLS data plane. I think for the IP data plane, we definitely need um, uh, more work there and maybe more contributions. Another area where we're looking for more contributions uh, and more help from, from people are in the control plane. Uh, we have a, a notion of uh, either supporting uh, centralized or distributed or hybrid. The, the centralized really is taken care of by the Yang model that's in, with the IESG. The distributed solutions, we haven't had a huge amount of interest in that because you know, distributed control planes are a little out of vogue right now. Um, uh, and, and so we're, we're definitely looking for more interest if uh, from working group participants in that area. Um, that's it. Uh, thanks. Excellent. Thank you, Lo. Uh, question or comments? Okay. IoT Ops, Hank, Alexei? I don't know if Alexei is here. Um, I will just do this. Um, so yeah, we have uh, an hour scheduled for ITF 113. Um, we want to have maximum three best two presentations to focus more on discussion. We, this is our promise was to be to do more discussion and we were like overloaded with presentation recently. So we want to uh, trim down on that. Um, I'm, I'm happy to announce that uh, potentially we will have an outsider from somewhere else that's not the ITF coming to ITF and asking, I have this problem. That's an IoT problem. This is the landing zone. Could you help us? Which is literally the intent of IoT. I'm so happy about that. Um, it's it's a bit from the energy sector sector. Mm -hmm. And so so that I'm not sure if they will they, they are unfamiliar with the turf, so we are helping them as chairs at the moment to 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 present. And and so yeah, so there will be a few uh, items. So that's why the agenda hasn't stabilized yet. And uh, um, yeah, so that's that's our uh, I think very um, yeah um, optimistic report. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Hank. Comments, questions. Okay, Lake, Malisa, Stephen. 
Okay, someone has some update on Lake. Okay. El week, Mohit, send. No. Someone has updates on El week. Okay. LP1, Alex, Pascal. No. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry, I'm coughing a lot these days. So, yes, um, LP1 is, is progressing on pretty much all the documents that, that we were working on, and most of them are very close to, compre to completion. So we we have uh, just recently com completed uh, a worker plus call on what we call the compound hack, which is an extension to the chic compression. Um, and uh, we are running the, the worker plus call for uh, our React data model. So uh, very close to completion for the work group activity for those two. Um, and then we'll be uh, next exploring uh, chic over at BIOT and chic over Sigfox, uh, which are nearing work group last call both of, both of them so yes at, at the uh, at ITF in Vienna we will we'll effectively uh, complete the work group last call for for the young data model and study the, the results and probably uh, do the work group last call for the the stick fox documents to, to be to be studied now it doesn't mean that the working group is stopped I mean we, we have a number of activities that we plan for the future uh, some improvement to the shake because we have we are chartered to uh, to do maintenance. <coughs> there is the work on uh, A2.15.4 that Carlos has started. Uh, we also have a P2P document, uh, she cover PPP basically. So we have uh, to, to really adapt our architecture and possibly our data model to, to allow P point to point. So peer to peer symmetrical uh, connectivity. And uh, last but not least, we have a charter item on OAM and uh, Dominic Bartel is. is uh, offer of a uh, uh, personal submission, which will probably soon be adopted by Luke. So, progressing very well, but very happy. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Pascal. Uh, comment questions? Okay, great. About role, we're going to have a meeting, one hour meeting in the ITF. Where the new version of our DB Ripple was published yesterday. So, and they are introduced modification about the mode of operation. We would like to have the input of the working group. We need to uh, get the approval on that. Most of the, I mean, some, some of the participants are okay with this, but we, we need more input. Um, we have as well need input of the working group, the working enrollment priority. NC extension was submitted to the ISG. DAO projection is uh, very complete now, it's uh, ready for working group last call. Um, we just approved as well a new work on the fast border uh, router detection in Ripple. Okay, common question. Ines? Yes. yes. If I may say, I mean, for the people who don't really uh, participate to Ripple, uh, just to give some feedback about the, the three drafts that you mentioned, the original, we had the question today on the mailing list, that's what I'm, I'm saying. Yes, uh, yes. Ripple RC 6550 is kind of the central uh, Ripple work. It's it's a distributed protocol uh, uh, running proactive uh, establishment of the routes. The the new work on AODV Ripple is reactive, so it's still mm -hmm. distributed, but it's reactive. So it's one extreme type of, of use cases, where, where by, whereas Ripple is kind of a middle normal use case. Now the DAO projection that you uh, just talked about is at the other extreme versus uh, the, the reactive protocol. It's completely centralized. So you, you have the, the, the controller which will effectively install some path between sensor A and sensor B. So, so we, we, we started with, with the standard distributed proactive protocol and now we have at one extreme a reactive AOD based protocol and at the other extreme a SDN type of protocol with DAO projection. So we kind of have a very nice family now. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Pascal. Um, sweet, Dave, David, Ross. Uh, Ross is in the Sorry, minutes. I was muted. So, Thank you. Um, I put some uh, notes into the uh, to the WebMD. Yes. Yeah, and so uh, just quickly, the suit manifest document people uh, felt was getting a little complicated. 
So we've broken it into three documents. The idea primarily is that the base uh, document needs to be implemented by everybody, um, but the other two uh, deal with options. And so if you choose to implement um, the option, then uh, you, you do that document, or if you don't, you don't do it. So uh, basically the idea is you can ignore uh, the documents that are options unless you uh, implement those options. So it makes the core document much, much simpler. Um, the encryption uh, is based on HPKE, which is a product of the CFRG, and COSE now has a document that says how to do that um, with the same authors as this document, which makes it easy for it all to be aligned. And so um, now we're just not, uh, we thought that the HPKE mechanisms might be of use outside of suit, and so we, we split it that way. Um, the suit-related claims, there was a discussion about whether those should proceed in rats or suit, and it was decided they're going to proceed in suit, so that's uh, what's going to happen. And um, the report uh, document has to do with uh, using some of those claims to report back uh, so a device can report back to some uh, coordination place, which uh, that it has just done an update of the firmware. And lastly, after a recharter, we can now take on the additions of uh, adding MUD to, to suit. So that's the last document. And that's essentially the structure of the agenda for the meeting at IATF 113. Great, thank you very much, Russ. Comment questions? Yeah, this is oh. saying this is a comment from the Reds realm. Uh, while I understand that uh, um, claims, uh, suit claims that should be done in a suit, uh, there is a, a relatively hard blocker here uh, that it is a misconception that uh, the each claims that exist are a semantical overlap with suit claims required, uh, also to be specified. Um, that uh, is to the authors of the suit uh, claims, which is basically brand new. Sorry for this on my own turf here, so take this a grain of salt. Um, uh, not warranted and wrong, actually. So <laughs> we have to clear that up. And uh, and so uh, we will not update uh, that draft. We have not updated the draft of this ITF due to that problem that will be discussed at uh, suit uh, WG uh, and Vienna. Okay, great. Thank so, you very and, much. And that discussion has just started on the mail list. I, I sorry, I was offline. I, I maybe, yeah, yeah. hopefully. <laughs> yeah, please, please uh, nudge it further. As a matter of fact, so that people can come inform. Great, thank you very much. Um, think to things Richard group, Ari. So, for Team Thing Research Group, um, we are organizing a summary meeting uh, tomorrow, um, about this time, well, a bit earlier than, than this time. Um, so, we will not be meeting uh, at the IETF face to face. One key thing that's going on in the RT now is we are starting a new activity on security for constant festival environments called SECORE. Uh, for example, a DOS attacks is, is one of those uh, topics, and there's a bunch of other topics proposed there. So, anyone interested on, on security for IoT? Highly recommend to join the session. Uh, when it comes to our drafts, um, there's two drafts that are now going towards Research Group last call. The guidance for RESTful IoT had minor updates uh, just recently, but there's a couple of more based on, on chair review coming. And also the IoT at challenge and functions is pretty much waiting for chair reviews, and then we'll be initiating the last call of, for those. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Ari. Comment questions? Okay, coin. Uh, Jeffrey, Eve, Maria Jose. Hi, this is Eve. I think I'm the rep here today for these next couple of um, well, the research group and the working group, the raw working group. Um, so we had an interim in February. Uh, we are, as a research group, there's been lots of discussion on the list um, about the scope of research groups and engineering versus research. Um, and uh, in the midst of all of that, um, we did have a use cases draft that was updated. Um, 
and uh, some of the uh, debate is about what aspects of um, semantic routing are in and out of scope. As many of you know, that's a topic that has had quite a few uh, boffs and external mm -hmm. um, adjacent meetings. So um, this is the latest um, kind of issues around that. Um, and so we're trying to discern what's in and out of scope for COIN. Um, uh, we are still, we are going to meet in at the IHF 113. Our agenda is still evolving. And uh, I would say that one of our issues that we need to tackle with a little bit more um, pointedness is that we've had some quite interesting uh, drafts that have expired. Um, and uh, particularly as the use case draft goes to uh, working group last call, it's you know getting pretty close. Um, we had another one that was about uh, requirements, use case requirements for industrial, which expired, and that's you know certainly something we'd like to bring back. Um, we also had a research directions draft. So those are some of the issues that are swirling around in the CoinRG um, arena. Uh, in terms of raw as a working group, um, we we are meeting at IETF 113. Uh, our LDAC's um, proposed informational RFC is under review um, and so recently received a routing AD review. Um, the use cases draft here uh, completed working group last call and we just submitted it yesterday um, to the IESG. We decided at the last meeting to separate our architecture and framework draft, which is uh, something that the um, is a strategy that the DebtNet working group, which is we consider a sister working group, um, has done to good effect. And um, so we uh, have taken that approach here. Um, the architecture is really meant to be kind of a general approach and the framework to provide the specifics. And as a result, the frameworks is a uh, um, kind of viewed as a living draft until such time as, you know, we're further along and have done our gap analysis and so forth. Um, and uh, we also solicited uh, quite a few reviews for our, the technology draft, which talks about um, the layer two technologies and how, you know, what is their state of the art. Um, and it is uh, very close to working group's last call and, um, that's it. We're off. Excellent. Thanks, Eve. Mm -hmm. Common questions? Okay. Ro, Rick, Eve? Oh, sorry. I, I had gone from CoinRG to RAW. <laughs> and I didn't let you ask any questions about CoinRG. Uh, so I had given both. <laughs> okay. Great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, Actually, what would be great is um, to put these in alphabetical order with the other ones. So uh, uh, eventually, in, in the next for the next meeting, so that people can find them. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yes, all these minutes are uploaded into the GitHub. So yeah, uh, we inform by the mailing list. And uh, thank you. And uh, there are new. Uh, planned uh, ITF RTF activities that the, that you are so aware if, of. If if I may, I could uh, quickly complete my report of the ACE working group. I was a bit surprised that I had to have to do that. The the main news of the ACE working group, of course, is that uh, our main uh, suite of documents is in all forty eight now. Uh, so it should be coming out uh, at any uh, moment. And uh, a related piece of news that I forgot to relay is that uh, there is now also a profile for for uh, MQTT that is uh, done and on tomorrow's telechat as well. So I think uh, ACE can can uh, start celebrating a little bit about this Auth48. Excellent. Thank you very much, Karsten. And Michael, do you want to give an update on ISDF? Or Nicola? Uh, yeah, okay. I could say something about ASDF. I'm sorry, I was uh, had to answer the pizza man at the door. So <laughs> yeah, I had pizza now. Um, ASDF had a virtual interim, uh, was it last week? I think it was last week. It's all a blur today now. Um, and uh, we're not meeting at 113. Uh, and we are having a series of design team meetings. There's one next Monday. Um, <clears throat> And I think that will put the 
last of the 1.1 1 .1, uh, work away uh, and we'll enter, uh, we'll, we'll push the publish button. Um, and as noted by Nicholas in the notes here, there's a bunch of other documents that have now come up to, to essentially uh, capture the things that we don't think we can put into the first document. Um, and I guess the other thing to report is that uh, there's, I think, increasing comfort with uh, the uh, ASDF work among, I think, a number of other SDOs that have kind of realized that um, this may be for them a way to be able to get to and from Yang. Um, and that that's something that they've come to realize they want to do. Um, so I don't want to name any names and put anyone on spotlight and say things that aren't true. But that's the feeling I'm starting to get from things. And I think that's a really good thing in the end uh, for, well, really everybody um, for that. So I think that's really exciting. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Michael. Um, then to, uh, other IoT SDO updates activities that you want to share with us? Mm -hmm. for, okay. For... Yes. From me, I think the 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 so the the OPC UA has slightly revised their onboarding protocol. Um, probably the most significant thing is that they now call it an onboarding protocol rather than a provisioning protocol. Um, and I think that that the even if there's no other commonality among anything else in the industry, uh, I think that we now are at a point where people can agree that the word provisioning is something that happens in the factory and that onboarding is something that happens when you take it out of the box. And so I think that's actually, a, a, just to have be able to speak in but common terms across, the, across different activities, I think is actually a pretty important uh, uh, um, aspect, part development really. Yeah, okay. I, I think I have to say, uh, yeah, that is why this might be a very minor victory. This is an important victory. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. And the IoT Security Foundation, do you have some information? Or... Oh, yeah. So I didn't add anything because you didn't put a heading. Um, so I wasn't sure if you wanted it anymore. Um, yeah. So the, the many secured, uh, secure usable internet browser uh, did a presentation at the last IETF. Um, and we got what we kind of expected, which was a bunch of people who said, oh, it's easy problem. Just do X. And um, well, it's not an easy problem and there's some problems with X and that the reaction that people think it's an easy problem means that they haven't really understood this problem actually. Um, so anyway, uh, I hope that we will come back to the IETF uh, with our solution overview um, in the next IoT Ops. I don't know, Hank hasn't told me whether we get time or not. Um, and uh, <clears throat> um, the 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 development is pretty is is ha is is keen, but what we're still really need is uh, um, we don't have a big buy in from anywhere anybody yet, and I think that's the that's really what well that's always been the problem with with this problem is that um, it's it it um, it requires that several parties agree that this is a good thing, and then. Um, each one does their job, even though there's no immediate return on investment for what they have to do. So there's a problem of of common, of uh, commonality here. Um, but I hope we'll be able to get over that. Okay, great. Thank you very much, Michael. Um, about Laura, Alien or Laura, someone want to provide some information? Yes, this is Dominic. Can you hear me? Hi, Yes, thank you. Okay. Yes. Uh, I don't think it has been reported uh, here before. I just wanted mm -hmm. to mention that the LoRa Alliance has uh, adopted Chick RFC 8724 and RFC 9011 as the technology to transport IPv6 over LoRaWAN. Uh, it's not right. totally published yet, but the, the spec has been adopted by the technical committee of the LoRa Alliance and, the, and then it's going through the board and an IPR review and everything, but within weeks, it should be public. So I think I could mention that. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Thank you very much, Dominique. Um, Ari, do you want to provide a follow-up with the IAC topic? 
Yes. So the IIC topic, as you, you remember, we, we had a one presentation from IIC in an earlier IP directorate call. And then we were discussing that we should follow up on the potential topics we could be working together. Uh, so we are now still planning for a workshop on that. Um, now, the tentative timeline is towards end of Q2. Uh, we have been recently discussing some of the organization and, and agenda details in a bi weekly meetings uh, with the ISE representation. And we also had one call with uh, IESG and IAB uh, members on the on the organization details, what should we call it, uh, how to market it, etc. So there are some issues to be figured out there, but at least things are moving forward. Excellent. Thank you very much, Ari. Okay. Some other other business, some additional comments. Okay. Thank you very much. All and uh, yes. Ines, one, I was wondering, did we skip the new or planned IoT activities? Wondering, are there ah. any relevant bof bofs or, or other site meetings or what have you uh, that are happening that would be good to know for everyone? Yeah, it seems that uh, there is no updates. Okay, if anything comes in mind later, you know, feel free to add on, on the notes. It's always good to have pointers for those. Yes, thank you. Um, yes, the... we, had, we had several pointers to new activities already. So, uh... <laughs> okay. So anything that wasn't covered yet, but yeah, thanks. Good point. Yeah, you you might make pointers to to further up in the notes, like the supply chain stuff. Okay, great. Uh, these uh, notes are going to be up, uploaded into the GitHub, as uh, we mentioned, with the alongside with the link of the recording. Okay, thank you very much to all, and safe travels if you go to Vienna, and talk to you soon. I will Hopefully stop. Hopefully in Vienna. Hope to see you all. <laughs> <laughs> thank thank you. you for the efficient sharing, Ines. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye -bye. See you, everybody.